Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best baked chicken and rice casserole. This chicken and rice casserole is super easy to make and it's made in just one 9 by 13 pan. You start with two cups of white rice. Pour that directly into a 9 by 13 pan. Then add in one diced white onion and then about three tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of flour. The flour will combine with the butter and act as a thickening agent to thicken up the sauce as it cooks. Take a spoon and then we're gonna stir this all together until there are no more visible white specks of the flour. What we want is for all of the flour to bind itself with the fat from the butter. Next, spread this all out, and we're gonna take five cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna pour that directly in with the rice and onion, along with a cup of heavy cream, and then a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and give this a stir. There should be quite a bit of liquid, but no worries, the rice will absorb this up as it cooks, the flour will help thicken it, and everything will end up all right. Next, we're gonna take four bone-in skin-on chicken thighs and place them right into our casserole here. The tops should be just peeking out over the liquid. Now, if you're not a huge fan of skin, you can always use boneless, skinless chicken thighs in this. I don't recommend boneless, skinless chicken breasts because they may dry out with this long cooking time. Next, we're gonna take another three tablespoons of melted butter and brush it over our chicken thigh tops. And then I'm just gonna drizzle the extra all around the top of our casserole, getting as much butter on the chicken thighs as possible. Then we're gonna season off our thighs with a little bit of garlic powder, as well as some Italian seasoning. Then we're gonna cover the pan with a piece of aluminum foil, fold that over the edges, and then we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for one hour. The aluminum foil will trap in all of the steam to cook our rice. After an hour, remove the piece of aluminum foil and continue cooking for another 30 minutes to allow your chicken thighs to crisp up. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.